Dennis Jones with NJHotshots.com. And Saturday, it was Irvington traveling to West Orange to take on the Pirates of Seton Hall Prep. And Irvington coming into this game at 1-5, Seton Hall Prep 5-0. Now, let's take a look at the highlights from what turned out to be a record-setting day in West Orange. The Pirates of Seton Hall Prep in solid blue with the white trim, hosting Irvington in the white jerseys with blue trim. In West Orange on Saturday, Irvington coming off a 29-33 loss to Bloomfield last week with an early strike into Pirate territory. First and 10 now, Blue Knights. Quarterback Najee Leverett hands the ball off here, but the swarming Pirate defense stops Irvington for a loss. Later in the first quarter, a bad snap over the head of kicker Ryan Moore into the end zone for a safety. And at the 841 mark, it's 2-0 Irvington. Pirate quarterback Sean McGuire on third down completes to Kevin Idrima for an 11-yard pickup. And this time, McGuire gives to senior running back Kevin Manangai, who darts up the middle and sheds defenders down to the 15-yard line. Next play, Manangai again picks up a block, makes a move, and goes in for the 15-yard touchdown. Manangai averaged just over 12 yards per carry this season for Seton Hall Prep. The Pirates take a 7-2 lead. Borelli's kick is good. Your score, Seton Hall Prep 7, Irvington 2. Manoa guy was just warming up, taking this handoff through the defense, running for the sideline before getting pushed out of bounds near the 13-yard line of Irvington. Next play, look at the blocking up front as Connor Wujiak, the big Boston College recruit, darts up to the middle for a touchdown. In for the touchdown. Kicker Mike Borelli provided the extra point for the Pirates, who now lead 14-2 at the beginning of the second quarter. Irvington trying to answer and with good field position can't escape the pressure from Wuziak, but somehow Leverett gets this pass off and the Blue Knights are forced out of bounds near the 15-yard line. Looking for a score here and Leverett may have forced this pass into coverage and Shane Nolan picks the pass off for the Pirates. And that play set up a 29-yard field goal by Mike Borelli to help Seton Hall build a 17-2 halftime lead. 28-yard field goal, good by Bur Second half, Seton Hall prep, McGuire with the completion to Wuziak out in the flat and goes up the left sideline for a big game. First and ten Pirates. Seton Hall knocking on the door again, this time the give to Manangai, and Manangai cuts it to the outside, picks up a block and goes in for his second touchdown of the day. Touchdown. Pirates now in complete control, take a 23-2 lead with 2.47 left in the third. In the fourth quarter, more running game from the Pirates. Manangai with great vision and some key blocks rumbles all the way down to the Irvington 30-yard line. Next play, the give to Charlie Kennedy, and you can absolutely drive a truck through these holes created by the Pirate offensive line. Kennedy goes 31 yards for the touchdown. Charlie Kennedy up the middle for 31 yards, touchdown Pirates. Borelli's extra point is good, and the Pirates' lead grows to 31-2 late in the fourth. But this day belonged to Kevin Menongai of Seton Hall Prep. The heavily recruited running back carried the ball 21 times for 292 yards, including this incredible 74-yard touchdown run, launching him into the school's record books. His 55th career touchdown surpasses the mark of 54 held by John Merklinger from 1977 to 1979. What a day it was for the Pirates, and what a day it was for Kevin Manangai. 292 yards, three touchdowns, and scores his 55th career touchdown, breaking a 33-year-old school record. What a day. And is there any doubt who my player of the game is? It's Kevin Manangai, this week's player of the game. I'm Dennis Jones, NJHotshots.com.